What's up everybody, it's Parker with BI Elite. I have a very fun video today showing you how to set up what I call soft row level security. This is going to allow you to show the current user's data versus other data. Instead of traditional row level security where you're filtering down the data set to only show data pertaining to the logged in user, this is instead going to mask the other user's data so the current logged in user can actually view his data compared to all others without singling out anybody or really showing any specific details about the others. I've already set this up, so let's go ahead and take a look at this quick demo. We can see that my logged in user when I'm building in Power BI Desktop is this username right here. And this user is allowed to see the computer store customer category. And in our visual here, we can see that the computer store makes about 12 million, but all other customer categories make up 165 million. The others category is actually made up of four or five other categories. So it's all grouped in one others category. But now if we switch over to Power BI service, we can see that as I have a different logged in user, now it's Parker at BIELE.com, our customer category that's being shown is actually changed. Now we're seeing novelty shop instead of computer store. And now the others is actually a very small piece of the pie. So we can set this up based on multiple users, customer categories. Uh, I've actually set this up for three different logged in users, but we can take this as far as we want. So this is going to be a useful trick if you don't necessarily only wanna show the current user's data, but you would like to give them some sort of comparison to the rest of the group. Keeping in mind that this isn't like traditional row level security where you're filtering down that data set based on the current user, you're gonna to have to go through some extra steps in order to keep this data secure. You probably don't wanna share the individual PBX file because the other user's data will still be contained there. But just keep that in mind as you're building out a solution like this, although it is pretty interesting to be able to see a dynamic comparison to these other categories. So let's go ahead and dive into Power BI Desktop and set this up. I have my role of security others demo file here, which doesn't have anything on the report canvas yet. The first thing I wanna do is show you how I got that username if you're not familiar. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new measure. And I'm just going to call this uh, user. We're only gonna use this for display purposes. And I'm just using the username function. You can also use user principal name. Um, and once we have that in there, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in a card. And I'm gonna go ahead and blur out my username while I'm on my local computer here. But I will throw that in there just to kind of give you a quick idea. This is going to show you the username of the current logged in user. And keep in mind that this does look different in Power BI Desktop and Service. In Service, it's gonna show you the uh, Microsoft account that you're currently logged into. While using Power BI Desktop, it's going to show you your computer username. Next up, we need to create a pretty specific table of customer categories. To take a look at my original table of customer categories, let's go to the data view. And here it is actually, the categories table. We see that we have eight different customer categories here. So we just need to add an others row to this table of eight customer categories. And I've actually already done that. I'm gonna go ahead and load that in here. Um, it's called categories and others. So basically the logic for this is I'm unioning two different tables. So I'm taking all of my categories, customer category name, the field or the column we were just looking at in the previous table, and then I'm appending an others row. I'm giving it the column name of customer category name as well, and the value is others. So this is our table of customer categories. This is just a single row with the value of others. So with that, we have our eight customer categories and others. Keep in mind that there isn't going to be a relationship uh, in our model for our new categories and others table. Uh, it's actually here, it's sitting by itself. This is all going to work based on disconnected tables. So with that said, let's go back to our report. And now we just need to set up a table defining our user access. So I'm going to enter in data here. You might actually have this table already created on your uh, backend data source, but if you don't, I'm just gonna create one on the fly. Uh, for example, I'm gonna call this user access and uh, this column, I'm gonna call this username, and it's also going to have an associated category. So for example, if I want parker at bielite.com to see the novelty shop customer category, I can do that. Uh, if I want my local computer, which I know the name of my local computer, I'm going to assign the category supermarket this time. And then just one more, we might not check this out, but I will set Ola at bielite.com to be computer store. 
And that's going to define the access of the logged in user. It's just giving them a specific category from that categories table. So let's go ahead and load that in there. Okay, so we're good to go. Let's go ahead and start building out our donut chart just to show this in action with a new donut visual. I'm just gonna place that here. And let's take our customer category name from our categories and others table that we created. I'll throw that in the legend. And I already have a revenue measure created, so I'm gonna throw that in the values. As of right now, this isn't going to work as expected. Basically that same value is gonna be copied over all of these customer category names. And that's because we don't have a relationship between the two tables with this data, but we're gonna handle all of that within our new measure. So let's go ahead and create that new measure. And I'm going to call this, uh, once that pops up, I'm gonna call this revenue versus others. And I'm gonna set that equal to a few variables here. So the first variable is going to be called current user category. So based on the currently logged in user, what is their associated uh, customer category from that user access table? So that's easy to do. We can just calculate, uh, we'll just use max of that category field from our user access table, but specifically where our username from that same table equals the username function. So running back through that, just grab the category from the user access table where the username equals the username function of the currently logged in user. And we'll go ahead and create a couple more variables here. This first variable is going to be called current uh, category filter. And I'm going to set that equal to the filter function. We want to filter our original categories table. So not categories and others, which we created. We need to filter our original categories table, which is linked to the orders table. And it's actually going to filter data down. We want to filter that categories table to say customer category name equals current user category. So let's filter that entire table down just to the current user category. And then I'm going to copy this because our next line will look very similar. We'll create one more variable here and I'm gonna call this others filter. And we're doing the exact same filter, but instead of equals, we wanna say it does not equal. So give us all of the other categories uh, that don't fall in line with the current logged in user. And then finally, let's just return. We'll return a switch statement, evaluating for true. And we'll say something along the lines of selected value of our categories and others customer category name equals current user category. So that's basically saying in our visual here, in our donut chart, if we're currently looking at the current user category, we want to return, calculate our revenue measure, and we're gonna throw in current category filter at the end of that calculate. So give me the revenue just for that current category filter. And then this is gonna be very similar to our others logic paste that down below. So if our categories and others category name equals others, we want to calculate that revenue based on the others filter. Then finally, return blank for all of the other options in the categories and others table. And let's go ahead and click enter. And we'll go through that one more time in just a little bit. I just wanna make sure that this is all working as expected. So instead of revenue in the values, I'll throw in revenue versus others. So let's drag that in there and I'll just get rid of revenue real quick and drag that in there and we're good to go. So I see that my current logged in user should see the supermarket category and everything else is others. So now all we need to do is save this and publish this up to Power BI desktop. Just give me one second while I uh, publish that up quickly. So I'll publish this up to my YouTube workspace. And once that's up there, we will hop on over to Power BI Service and check out, I believe uh, my email logged in on Power BI Service should be seeing the novelty shop category. So we'll go ahead and check that out. And it was successful. So if I come over to my YouTube workspace and find that new one, uh, Role of Security Demo, I can see that my current logged in user is Parker at BI Elite and I see the novelty shop category. One thing I did forget to do is I want to color my others category to be gray so that it will show um, just kind of as like, hey, this is others. This is something you don't really need to worry about or should not have access to. 
and then I'll go ahead and publish this up once again just to make sure that that uh, carries through to our final report. And I'll kick off a reload here. And let's see what we have. And that's perfect. So we have our current uh, category, which is novelty shop versus others. And this will work for as many people as you wanna set up or define those access roles for. But now we're good to go and we can compare our current category of the logged in user to all others. Hope you enjoyed this trick and got something out of it. Just a reminder, if you want to access any of the data behind this trick, all you need to do is enroll in any of our BI Elite training courses. You can connect directly to a live Azure SQL database for you to practice Power BI, DAX, Alteryx, and anything else that you want to do data related. The link is down in the description and thanks for watching.